Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is May 4th, 2017. And um, welcome to a um, what will probably be a badly done how-to video. Um, let's say um, you're wanting to have a special kind of wallpaper on your old computer that is running at 256 colors and 640 by 480 resolution. Um, typically, I keep, I keep my Windows 3.1 and Windows 95 machines at 640 by 480 at 256 colors because that's what most of the games I play require. So anything um, above that, um, I never really have a use to do that. So um, the problem is that unless you're using um, the backgrounds that Windows provides you with, if you copy over a modern day picture file, it's not going to look right. S However, um, thanks to, to some, some advice from my good friend Jay Wakefield, we could do something about that, and I'm going to show you how. First, um, we need to find a picture. And I have one right here. It's an aerial shot of Carolina Circle Mall in 1978. And what we want to do is um, is put this into our um, favorite or preferred um, photo editing program. And what I prefer to do is use um, well something a little bit old school, uh, Microsoft Digital Image. I digital image um, something or, or other 2006. Now because this is kind of an older program and I'm running Windows 10 on this um, ThinkPad here, I use this program in a um, Windows XP virtual machine. So what we'll just have to do is drag and drop this onto the Windows XP desktop on the virtual machine there. Right click it go to open with and okay that's the name of it Microsoft Digital Image Standard 2006 Editor now you don't have to use this particular program to do this this is just what I, this is just the program I prefer there are plenty of other um, programs out there that can do this probably a lot of which I probably should be using instead of this but um, but we're gonna go over here to resize image hit the wrong one. It's a little bit finicky at times. Okay, resize image. We want to uncheck maintain proportions and we want to go to um, to where it says pixel dimensions. As you can see the dimensions here are way too high for an older computer. And so we want to change the width to 640 and the height to 480. And there we go. It looks a little bit stretched, but not nothing too um, jarring. So we'll go ahead and um, save this. Close out of um, that program. And we're going to drag and drop this um, back onto our uh, main system if it'll, if it'll let me. There we go. And I have a um, virtual server going on my system. So we're going to um, copy this over to um, that server so we can access it on our older computer. And since this older computer at at this time is running um, Windows 3.1. It can't support long file names. We'll just rename it CCM for now. So we'll need to walk over to um, our old computer, the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT, currently running on its Windows 3.1 compact flash card. And what you're going to need to do is get your old computer running um, an old version of Paint Shop Pro. This version is Paint Shop Pro 3. I believe you can find this on oldapps.com. So let's 
so we'll go ahead and um, open our file we created in our on our um, main machine over there and it's already um, defaulted to the to our server there so there we go CCM and here it is picture we just saw on our main system a while ago now what we want to do is go up here to where it says colors go to decrease color depth and you'll see we have many options here but what we want tonight is 256 colors and um, play with this all you want to get to um, to get it to look the way you want but I usually go for optimized with error diffusion and reduce color bleeding that's just what's worked best for me in the past um, it may not work for you just um, adjust accordingly so we're going to go ahead and click OK it's um, doing its magic there and there we go we now have a image that is 640 by 480 at 256 colors that doesn't look too horrible um, you can see Montgomery Ward there looks a little bit distorted but no big deal we're going to go ahead and save as we're going to save it as a bitmap file we'll put it in the Windows folder because that's where Windows 3.1 gets its um, wallpaper from so we'll go ahead and um, oh by the way this is um, a background I already made using this process but we'll go ahead and um, change it to the one we just made go to desktop I believe we just named it CCM bump and voila that's all there is to it folks so um, yeah um, just figured I'd make this video um, just to show you how to do something like this um, but anyway I better head on to bed now and we'll see you next time Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The addresses are located in the bottom right corner. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.